Okay. So um, now that you all know the home decor trends that I hate, I mean, there's countless videos on home decor that I hate. So I thought I'd do a nice positive video of home decor that I like right now. Maybe some of these things I have around my apartment, maybe some of these things I don't have but I want or they just don't work right now. Whatever it is, this is just shit that I like right now in home decor. So enjoy some positive vibes coming your way. Everyone's always asking, what do you like? So here you go. Home decor stuff that I like right now. The first piece of decor that I'm really into right now is vintage lamps. Any type of vintage lamp. It literally could be from the 60s, the 70s, the 80s, the 90s whenever a vintage ikea lamp i think those are super cool incorporating a vintage lamp is one of the easiest ways to have something a little bit different in your family room so if you have you know a couch from cb2 and side tables from west elm why not grab a vintage lamp off of etsy or first dibs or cherish or your local thrift store it's one of the easiest and most affordable ways to kind of give your room a little pop of something from another era. Out of all of the items in my apartment, my lamps get the most questions about where they are from and all of them are thrifted. I've said this in a previous video, but I'm currently really into pops of neon. So whether it be through glassware, I think that's a really easy way to add neon to your to your space. I have some yellow neon cups from Maison Midi. You can also add pops of neon through art. I think that's a super easy way to add in one little pop of color. Having a really muted moment and then having that one piece of neon artwork, I think is a really fun and unique way to add in just like that little that little bit of color. You don't want to go crazy with neon, like the, the neon signs. I don't think that's the correct way, but adding those little pieces through vases, picture frames, art, glassware, I'm into neon. Well, well small, small touches of neon. Let's take a quick little break to talk about today's sponsor, which is Wayfair's new YouTube series, A Style is Born. You obviously all know Wayfair's website where you can buy home products, but you may not know that they also have a YouTube channel. Their video series, A Style is Born, is all about the origin of design trends. Hosted by YouTuber and my friend, Arielle Bissett, she takes you on a deep dive of different design styles such as mid-century modern, Memphis, Bohemian, and more. Their first episode launched this December. Go take a little look. You might see a sneak peek from, um, you know who. <laughs> I've already become a huge fan of the show. I find it extremely interesting to see where trends started and what they have become today. If you're interested in history of design or where design trends came from, I highly recommend watching A Style is Born. Go check out the full episode of A Style is Born on Wayfair's YouTube channel and make sure to subscribe to stay up to date on future episodes. I've included a link in the description. Thanks again, Wayfair, for sponsoring this video. Speaking of art, I've always been into really, really large pieces of art. I think adding in a large canvas or a really large picture frame elevates a room and just makes you feel like you have really expensive taste. Like I said, I have been really wanting a really large piece of art, so I had one custom made by a really young Chicago artist named Lauren Lust, and I'll link her Instagram down below, but she makes these custom textured pieces of art and you can pick whatever color you want it to be. And when I found her through my friend Caroline, I inquired about getting a custom piece made for my bedroom and I absolutely love it. And now I just want more large art. As you all may know, or maybe you don't, my favorite color is green. I'm actually trying to cut back on the amount of green that I incorporate in my style and my home. It's just a constant color that I gravitate towards. Even the Goose winter jacket is green. Let me show you. Hey, that's the garbage man. Here she is, Miss America, in her green winter jacket. 
I don't know if it's her favorite color, but it's mine. And something that I've kind of come to the conclusion of is that green is a neutral color. Even if you have a very minimalistic neutral palette, you still have green in your space, most likely because you have plants. So I consider green a neutral. I think it's the easiest color to add into any space. My family room and my ceiling in my bedroom are painted Sherwin-Williams Garden Path, which was discovered by my friend Kate. And now I have to just stop putting green in my house because it's it, there's too much. But green is a neutral and I love it. So it's another thing in design that I really love. And I guess I always have. And I did attend... Michigan State, and I like to tell people that I went there because um, their color is green. It's not true, but it's fun. It's something I think about sometimes. Right now, I'm really into adding one very English traditional item. Like I have this little lamp that doesn't really go with anything else in my apartment. I don't really have anything else like this, but this one little lamp just fits in perfectly. It kind of goes with my obsession with Nikki Kehoe and that style. I think having a little bit of traditional, a little bit of English touch in your house can really make it feel so cozy and it goes perfectly with like a modern piece or a mid-century piece. Like my little lamp is sitting on a mid-century credenza and I think it pairs perfectly. I also love English fabrics and just like fabrics like this. Nikki Kehoe has just honestly been a huge source of inspiration for me. I just want to incorporate more items that that they sell. I can't really afford um, a lot of Nikki Kehoe stuff, but that's it's kind of my goal to have Nikki Kehoe bedding one day because I love it. Another really simple design touch I love right now, and it's the easiest thing you could do, is incorporating books anywhere, not even just on bookshelves. I have like a stack of books that I just have next to one of my side tables and I kind of rotate what's on top. Right now we have like a little Christmas tree. Uh, sometimes there's a vase with flowers. Sometimes I have a plant and I just think having books around your place just makes it feel cozy and eclectic and it also adds in like this touch of art. I have this acrylic shelf uh, that sits above my TV and I kind of display some cool coffee table books and I pick ones that I'm into those colors right now and then when I get sick of it I could rotate it so if I'm feeling spontaneous I'll put some colored coffee table books in magazines and then if I want a neutral palette back I can rotate it so putting art <coughs> hey that's just, that, that, hey. <coughs> That's our friend. Basically displaying books as art, whether you stack them or display them, I'm just into right now because it's cheap, it's easy, and you can switch it out very easy if you get sick of the color palette. Go to Goodwill and find some more books to put up there. She does not like when people walk by this window. It's honestly a pain living on the first floor with this, this dog because she um, hates everyone and will bark at everyone and anything that passes by. And yes, she is deaf. If you didn't know that yet, the goo is deaf. She went deaf like five years ago, I think just from old age. She's 16. She's old. As you all may know, open floor plans have been really big in the last I don't even know how many years. I feel like having an open floor plan was what everyone wanted when looking for a home. And when people bought homes that didn't have an open floor plan, people were knocking down walls and making this like big kitchen, family room, hallway, entry, whatever. It was all just one big house. I kind of like the opposite. I honestly like houses that are a little bit more enclosed and have a bunch of different rooms. I don't want everything to be enclosed. I like some spaces to be open, but when a home has like a little nook for an office or you have this little room that has maybe a fireplace and it's a sitting room um, and then you have a small little TV room and then maybe your kitchen and like family room might be a little bit more connected. I don't know. I think it's fun when there's a lot more rooms that you can go explore and sit in and have privacy than have this giant great room. I'm not against the open concept floor plan at all. I'm just saying I've been thinking about it and I kind of want a house that has rooms once I move, whenever that is. I would say that's pretty much it for 
interior decor stuff I'm really into right now. I probably could make more lists of this, but I would say this is like my main stuff that I like. Mixing patterns, large art, pops of color. I kind of just want to take a little bit more risk with interior design this year. I feel like I did a good job at taking a risk with this place. I held back a little just because I'm going to be renting out this spot so I didn't want to splurge on like my light fixtures. So I'm excited to eventually move whenever that may be so I can decorate for myself and not really for a renter. Not that this place wasn't for myself but I don't know. You get the idea. Hopefully you enjoyed this video of stuff that I like. I have a lot of really fun video ideas coming um, this year. And if you have any requests, leave them in the comments because I really do write down people's requests on this little um, dry erase board. Thank you all for watching once again. Um, make sure to subscribe. YouTube lingo is so funny to me. Make sure to subscribe and click that bell and give me a goddamn thumbs up. I'm kidding. Do whatever you want. I'll see you. I'll see you next week. Bye.